Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of the Airbnb vlog. So today, we don't really have much to do. Uh, and it's, I kind of like that because last week was insane in the amount of driving and hours driving that we did. But this morning, all I did was I went to Lowe's and I returned some stuff. After that, I had to pick up some shower curtains. But so far, I don't really have much on my plate to do right now. So what I'm going to be doing is working on some YouTube stuff. I have really been able to work on YouTube stuff since like last, last week. I'm definitely behind on some things, but... I am going to start doing that now and then basically wait until the next task comes up whether you know my mom has me pick up something so yeah I'm just going to be editing working on videos so far not really much to do I guess like picking up furniture wise for the house but I realized today that I still haven't given you guys a tour of the downstairs unit so that's what I'm going to do right now it is a mess in there and I forgot the keys upstairs ready here we go this is the downstairs unit obviously not as pretty or clean as the upstairs so there used to be a tenant down here but when the previous owner sold the house that tenant moved out so as you can see this is not as pretty here's a quick tour you walk in straight into here you have this living room area and a dining area this is a very cramped kitchen but at least this fridge works so this is kind of how the upstairs unit looked like before there's a big wall dividing you know the living room with um, the kitchen so they completely broke it down and then now it is how it is now. Like I'm, I'm okay with wearing shoes in this house because I don't want to get it on my feet. This is the master bedroom right here. So you have a closet and it's a pretty, oh my gosh, I think I have like a cobweb. Carpet definitely needs changing. You get right in here into the bathroom. Yeah, needs, needs a lot of work. Um, and then we have the second bedroom here. So the bottom floor is a two bedroom. It's very simple, very modest. But yeah, that's a quick tour. This one is, there's a reason why I didn't want to show you guys this one too, too soon, cause it's just, yikes, you know what I mean? So right here, this is like a patio to the backyard, but it seems like two, there's heat coming out. So I have to turn that off because we are not down here at all. I don't even know where the heat, where's the heater? That's the breaker box. I guess we'll find out s sooner or later. Oh my goodness, there's like stuff. See, I don't really understand this little, <laughs> this little window here. It's kind of awkward. Yeah, that is the downstairs. I am going to vacuum this up a little bit. It is a complete mess. The headlight bulb on our friend's car just recently went out. So we put a bulb, headlight bulb from uh, AutoZone to go get it replaced. So I'm gonna, replace it right now since there isn't really much to do today so first off we're gonna see that there's a cap right here and that covers where the headlight bulb is if you see it right here that little plastic thing in there with the wires coming out what we're gonna do first here is we're going to just try to undo it here I don't know what mechanism it's using to keep it in there what What are you watching there? How to change the headlight bulb. <laughs> <laughs> Tutorial section here. Yeah. All right. So that's how you get it out. So this is the dead light bulb here. Pull it out of this socket right here. Now we're gonna grab the brand new one. You wanna be careful handling this thing. You don't wanna really touch the uh, the glass element here because you might have oily hands. And naturally, your hands have oil. And if it gets on top here, it might make the oil hot and might crack the bulb. So you don't want to touch the glass here. I'm going to plug it in just like how you took off the last one. Push it in there. All right. Now we're going to just put it back in there nicely. But you want to keep in mind that there's like these little pins here on here. And you just want to match it up inside here we're just gonna slide it in here 
just like that so now that thing that that little pin this little metal pin here you just want to pull it under now it's locked in now we're gonna put the cap on and then follow me into inside the car put the key in the lights on There you go, brand new bulb, ready to go. We're not gonna get pulled over by some cops for having a dead bulb. So that's that's pretty much it. It's really simple, probably one of the more simple, simpler things to do on your car. And you can do it yourself. You don't need a mechanic to do this for you. So all in the day's work. Single, by the way. <laughs> Throw that bulb away. Got that done. Less than 10 minutes. Oh, less than five minutes, honestly. Yeah, super easy. Not much to do today, Airbnb wise, but you know, today was mostly like a rest slash YouTube day. So I've been editing all day. Tim's been working and editing. Monday has been a great day so far. Some people don't like Mondays, but honestly, I like Mondays for the potential that can be done in the next five days so i guess i'll end it here if you guys want to check out the next video check out the link on top and if you want to check out the previous video check the link on the bottom but i'll see you guys in the next one